so hello everybody welcome back to my channel so well, whatever that you find all the information that I uh, provide before are helpful or not I really appreciate that you stop by this channel today we're gonna do a little bit different thing I'll decide that I will go ahead and interview a couple people to see if they understand what the cognitive uh, distortion or cognitive dissonance is about and hopefully I will find some surprise answer from them. Okay, I will see you guys a little bit later. Here. Hello everybody, I'm currently uh, just arrived to the Japan town uh, in Los Angeles. Uh, anyway, I just want to give you guys to check on to see how the Japan town has been changed since later. Hello. Hi. Sorry, do you have 20 seconds? I'm just gonna ask a question. I'm doing a YouTube about okay. the mental health. Have you heard a, a term called cognitive distortion or a cognitive dissonance? Sorry, what was the question? A, a, a cognitive distortion. Do you know the meaning? No. Oh, no? Uh, do you, are you interested in psychology or? Uh, a little of, bit? Oh, kind of. Yeah. So, so I'll just do a brief uh, a definition. So cognitive distortion means like uh, there's a certain belief and in your mind, uh, there's a contradictive belief. Okay. Um, and therefore, uh, if you have a traditional belief and you're trying to kind of emerge to your a new kind of belief, then that clash together, which does not make sense to you. Uh -huh. So, yeah, hopefully the, uh, the explanation is okay. You yeah. know, you'll be able to understand. So basically mean that, for example, like, um, let's say you want to go dance, uh -huh. and uh, you know, your doctor told you that dance, dance is not good, but you still continue trying to dance. So which means that uh, the cognitive dissonance emerges to your mind, you, you're kind of confused because that kind of impact on your uh, personal belief. Mm -hmm. So they create a lot of contradiction. Okay. So yeah. Cool. But no problem. All right, thank you for yeah, your time. Thank you. Time. Yeah, you too. Uh, on my YouTube channel. So basically, okay. I just want to ask, well, I guess you guys know, have you guys heard about a term called uh, cognitive distortion? No. No. Okay. Uh, what term? Uh, I think I might pronounce it. Cognitive distortion. No. So yeah, not never. Like are you guys interested in psychology or? Uh... No, never. Oh, okay. So so basically, um, it's more like uh, um, you do have your traditional belief, but some new belief can't emerge to your mind. So it's more like uh, it create kind of dissonant, uh, contradictive belief, and then and then that two idea crash together and then create some kind of um, you know uh, dissonance. Oh, so okay. yeah. So. That's, that's pretty much it. Well, well, thank you for your time. Thank you for your time. Okay, thank you. Sir, excuse me. Can I ask you a question? I'm just doing a survey, quick survey. Have you heard oh, about? Sorry, yeah, man, uh, have like you that. heard about I, mental? I, I know, I my phone. Okay. You. Have you heard about cognitive distortion before? Cognitive distortion. No. Oh. Johnny. Okay. Hi. Hi, sir. Do you have like 20 seconds? I can ask you a question. Sure. Um, so I'm conduct a survey on my YouTube. Um, have you what? a survey? Okay. Have you heard about the in psych a psychology? There's a term called cognitive dissonance. Called what? Cognitive dissonance or cognitive distortion. Like cognitive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cognitive dissonance. Yes. Yes. Oh, can you can you explain? Like, I mean, the definition. Do you know? So it's like if something is happening in the world, but you aren't comprehending that it's actually happening. So it's like, let's say there's a fire. Mm. But you look at it and you think it's a special effect, or like you just don't, uh, like, you <laughs> don't like you don't uh, like you don't have the kind of you're not thinking that it's real. Well, it's more like oh, no, no. It's actually there's a two idea crash together. So. Uh, for example, you have your traditional belief and then the other idea kind of emerged to your belief uh, creating kind of distortion. So that distortion can be like uh, contradicted to your belief, your value and uh, make you have a hard time to accept that uh, that your traditional belief and therefore that you may need to uh, uh, develop some kind of confirmation bias means that you, uh, for example, you will like see your favorite show, you're kind of ignoring right, right, right. other things. It's not, you know, it's not something that you believe. So I think everybody experiences that in the daily life. So, so well, that's well, a good like explanation. Idea with yes, conflict, but, but it's more like uh, some sudden idea which you usually don't believe it. And then uh, and you kind of like emerge to your mind. Right, right. And then, then you kind of just feel the keyword is like contradicted, like kind of personal belief get, get uh, um, kind of um, not destroyed, but, but it's like a personal conflict. Like uh -huh. you have to make a certain decision. Yeah. in your life so 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 the keyword will be like contradiction like a personal belief get into that some kind of contradiction and uh, make certain uh make hard time for you to make the make decision 
yeah so okay. well thank you so much yeah. thank you for your time hello everybody welcome back so well hopefully after uh interview so many people and then um, if i provide those explanation i hope they understand i mean most of people say yes they do understand Hi, sorry, do you have like 20 seconds? Can I ask you a question about a survey? Um, not a survey, like a, a definition. Have you heard about the term called cognitive dissonance? No? Oh, all right, thank you. At least 10 people, most of them don't understand what the cognitive uh, dissonance is. I mean, they probably don't understand the terminology, but this is just like a human psychology. And people don't think this is important because people live in the material world. I mean, I the purpose of uh, building out this channel is to educate people, is to make people understand more about mental health. And I think at least I'm starting to achieve that goal one by one, step by step. So that's it. Thank you everybody for coming to the support, but uh, we're gonna continue to doing our interview and then hopefully we will get some new discovery. Okay, that's it for now, and I will see you later. Hi, excuse me guys, can I stop you guys for a little second? I'm asked a question, I'm doing survey, like uh, about, it's a psychology thing. About what? A, psychology, psychology. Uh -huh. So have you guys heard about uh, cognitive dissonance? The what? Cognitive dissonance. Cognitive dissonance? Yeah, have you heard about cognitive dissonance? No. Uh, um, like, did you guys hear any, like a psych this psychological term, I mean, from him? Like, how about cognitive? Uh, cognitive distortion. Okay. No, no. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, so, so can I explain a little bit so I can so so basically it's like uh, if you have a traditional belief, and then you, you you have that set of traditional belief, but then later there's a new like new concept coming to your brain, and then it's kind of like contradicted to what you believe in. Um, it's like a confirmation bias. For example, like uh, maybe uh, you like to hang out with a certain type of group and race, and if there is a certain, uh, you know, certain type of different culture coming in, and it kind of disrupt what you're thinking, and then that create some kind of dissonance, like a psychology term is called cognitive dissonance. Uh -huh. So yeah, that's, I'm just doing a brief interview. Oh, thanks so much, thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you. the family to see the family know what's going on. Hi guys. Hi, do you know, oh sorry, can I just follow for like 20 seconds, I'm doing my YouTube. Do you know what is cognitive dissonance? Uh, say it again? Uh, cognitive dissonance? Uh, no, I do not. Uh, okay, so, so cognitive dissonance is like some kind of a, a set of belief that crash to your existing belief. So meaning that uh, it's kind of kind of create a conflict on what you uh, what your traditional belief is. Uh -huh. So that's it, that's pretty simple. Uh, All right, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, sir, hello. Oh, do you have time for like 20 seconds? Can I, yeah, can I just uh, conduct a little survey? Uh, yeah. yeah, so um, have you heard a psychology term called cognitive distortion? No. Uh, no, like, like 20 seconds okay. or like, uh... I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm filming for you too. No, oh no, okay. <laughs> Excuse me, excuse me. Do we have time, like 20 seconds? 20 seconds. Um, I just doing a quick survey about uh, some kind of psych uh, psychological term. Have you heard of a term called uh, psychi uh, uh, cognitive uh, distortion? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. So, so can I just explain a little bit? So, so cognitive distortion means that uh, there's a set of belief contradicted to your pre previous belief. So, and everybody have like some kind of confirmation bias means that they uh, tend to trying to reduce their dissonance, trying to reduce their disbelief by just trust something they believe. Okay. So when you talk about cognitive dissonance, means that there is a contradicted style and a belief on your mind and you have to make that some kind of decision. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much. Thank okay, you. thank you. Sorry, do you have like 20 seconds? 20 seconds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, I'm, I'm doing a survey about... No English. So have you heard about the term in psychological uh, cognitive dissonance? I have I heard of what? A cognitive dissonance. No. 
Okay, no, like no. in any title, you, you never heard about it? No. Okay, so basically, uh, can I just explain? So cognitive dissonance means that uh, you do have your set of belief, right? Your value when you were growing up and then there's a, a new set of value kind of emerged to that belief and cause you to have psychological discomfort. And that's what caused distortion. And then you kind of like have to rationalize that belief to make sure that the, the, you know, your, your, your belief is correct. And other than, so basically you just feel like, for example, you have, you come from a certain culture and then, and you kind of used to that culture and you have to kind of emerge to other new information and that information crash to your brain. So you, you kind of like develop some kind of uh, distortion, like, uh, confused, like conflict. That's what I mean. Okay. So, so does that make sense or yeah. is it? Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah. It's right. just, thank you. Hi, how are you? I'm sorry, am I bothering you at the, the bad time? Oh, the, the microphone. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Hi, uh, are you busy right now? Can Do you have like 20 seconds? Yeah. Oh, so I have a good question, like I'm doing a survey. I'm sorry, let me talk. Oh, that's okay. So um, do you know what is a cognitive uh, dissonance? Have you heard the term? Um, not really. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, so yeah, okay, that's okay. So let me explain. So, so basically, every, everybody have their uh, form of belief, right? They have their traditional belief. What, whatever they're brought in out, uh, they grow up in a different type of family. They have to hold a certain traditional belief. So, cognitive dissonance occur when uh, your belief has been contradicted by the new belief emerged to your mind. So so that you will feel discomfort. So it's always creating some kind of psychological stress mm -hmm. under that. So that's called cognitive dissonance. That's, that's why it's called like, it's just a term, but I think if I explain like in a simple way, people will understand. It, yeah, that. the explanation. Yeah, the yeah, explanation. exactly. Yeah. Right, thank you so much. Of thank course, you, thank sorry, you. You have a good day. <laughs> this is a nursing home. This is to do mental health. And you have people to, wow, doing a lot of like exercise. You know, it's funny, you know, people like doing exercise. I, I don't know what kind of exercise it is, but anyway, so this is really nice though. And you see people, I don't know, is that exercise or just like a, the ass stretching? I have no idea. But anyway, we have people over there, we have people over there, just a really fun Are you guys time familiar time. with a, a psychological term called cognitive distortion or a cognitive dissonance? I have heard the words before, but I wouldn't be able to tell you an actual definition. Oh, okay. I'm not really good at but but I'll just give a brief in introduction. So pretty much it's just, we all have our set of belief, right? So so um, if we have some kind of new belief coming to our uh, region, let's say brain, or because we have million neurons, sure, they're yeah. coming to our brain, you know, we always absorb information. So so, so the new information coming emerge to our uh, belief, which is contradicted to what we believe. And we kind of have this kind of uh, conf conflict belief. You know, it's just like confirmation bias and all yeah, that. Yeah. So, so once we have those kind of uh, belief, which is not what we truly believe, we will develop certain kind of confirmation. Uh, you know, because we have to, we have a radar inside the brain. We kind of like have to make sure of this, if this is information is relevant to me. If this is information is correct, and might be able to accept in this type of information. So once we have this kind of conflict in our like uh, uh, cell process, then that kind of creates some kind of cognitive dissonance. Okay. So that's the definition. Yeah. Well, thank you for your time. Hello, everybody. We'll come back again. Uh, as we continue our journey, right now, I'm just gonna continue to uh, interview a couple more people before I can finish this section of this series. So just follow me and follow my journey and then that's Oh, I'm conducting a psychological uh, interview uh, on a survey. So I just, can you give like 20 seconds? Yeah. So do you understand, uh, you know psychology, right? Yeah. Are you familiar with cognitive dissonance? Yes. Oh, what is that? That means that you ignore whatever happened to you that was uh, eventful and painful and then you just go do the opposite of what you're supposed to do. Oh yeah, good, good. So, so basically it's, it's your belief has some contradictory thought yeah, process. Contradictory yeah, yeah, so you have to rationalize that belief. Rationalize and... Yeah, oh my god, it, you're good. Make it so you're, uh, you're okay with the bullshit. Yeah, exactly. Oh, hopefully you follow my channel. My channel is Mental... Uh, uh, mental Fit... B, B I H, but mental feet. I, don't, I just started, yeah. Okay. F I T and B I H. Okay. Yeah, thank you it's so good. much. You got it. Yeah, thank you, thank I'll you. See you. Yeah. Like 12 people, and at least two people understand. 
that comes to my surprise, but psychiatric training is not gonna help with people understand mental health. So it's kind of important for people to rationalize those things by interacting with other people. And then therefore, they will be able to absorb more information quickly and effectively. So that's pretty much it. I guess uh, that's conclude our, our channel for today. And then if you do have any question, comment, uh, feel free to leave any comment and question below. And I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.